Ladies and gentlemen, joining me at this time, one half of P Generation Max, Maximus Orion. Now, Maximus, there's a question that these people out in St. Joe's Park want to know, and that question is really simple. Are you ready? Am I ready, am I ready for what? Why don't you ask me about my next match or something? You think you can tell me what to do? I mean, yeah, I'm a co-owner. I am your boss. I mean, look at me. You think you can tell me what to wear? No. Whatever clown clothes you choose is your choice. Oh, so you think that you're better? Than who? Than you? I mean, in some aspects, yeah. Like, especially Team Rumble. Yeah, I am. Well, you better get ready. Stop! For what? Stop! I make one little joke in a group chat. It what? You're, you're on the interviewing set. I make you're one alive, little... Pal. Okay, we'll do it live! I make one little joke in the group chat, and you take it to the absolute extreme. And it was because you guys made some stupid joke about bowling balls. What is wrong with you? Many things. Well, here's the biggest thing. I think that it's time for Nani to bow to the masters. Break it down! They are the lovely intoxicated men and my tag partner in P-Generation Max, Maximus Orion. And this is the lovely intoxicated... Ooh, let's get ready to vlog it! So we're here in Richmond Park for IPW and as I promised Double J to make it up to him for the craziness that was Cupid's Carnage, I'm going to put my LIM title on the line here today. Double J, are you ready for me? So ready. I'm ready for you. I've been practicing and prepping and doing everything I can. Now let's go watch some wrestling and let me kick Double J's butt in drinking. Hey, let's taller look. than you. You can't even really reach my butt. So we're at halftime, intermission, whatever you want to call it, at IPW. And here's an update on the title defense. Right now, I've had a single beer. I have no and I, and What's up, dude? Double J, how, how many beers have you had? Well, I haven't, I haven't had any. I had to drive an hour to pick you up. I'm, well, well you, should, you can have some. But I'm, I'm the designated driver. I can't have any more infractions. You want me to buy you a beer? Yes. Because you did drive. I did. So I will buy you a beer. And uh, you get the next one. And any after that. But remember, we're halfway through. Okay. Belt's on the line. Okay. I still have to drive you, so I can't have any. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna get, we're gonna get this going. We gotta, we gotta boost this title defense. So we just left IPW. Congratulations to Mr. Cash Money Corey McHenry for being the new medallion holder. Um, and um, still, your LIM beer drinking champion, two to one, PX. Double J, you put up a hell of a fight. Well, you chose conveniently for your car to not work and need a ride to the show i had a designated driver because i was going to go to ipw and just get obliterated and beat you for that title but because of the good person that i am and, I appreciate and you it. said your car was in the shop and needed a ride i drove out of my way to pick you up and cancel my ride sacrificing my shot at the title all i could really have was one beer because now i gotta drive 30 minutes to take you to your second father's house and yeah, not, not Flash. Not We're not flat, going not to Flash's, Flash's house. house. He, he's not available to, to yeah, us right he's, now. Yeah. But then I got to drive half an hour there to then drive an hour and 15 back up to Chicago where I live. And I should be, you know, in the back of my friend's car with an IV bag hooked up to my arm in one arm and then holding the LIM title in the other. But because I'm a good friend, I laid down my opportunity and put it in jeopardy so that I could drive you. All right, here, listen. I, <laughs> listen get, I get it. I mean, I had no control over that issue that I had with my car. Allegedly. I will give you another shot at the title. And I can't give it to you at Rocket Pro this Saturday because I'm going to be backstage again interviewing wrestlers. Convenient. But, I mean, it's a really cool opportunity, but convenient. But what I can do 
is that I'm willing to give you another shot at this to make up for tonight at Super Wrestlers on March 10th. Oh, I like that, because then at Super Wrestlers, that's up in my neck of the woods. That's up in Chicago, mm -hmm. and I could take the train and get fucked up at Super Wrestlers and then walk out with, with the title. I'm going to get so obliterated, I'm going to think I'm back where Ry Dahl is from. So I'll I'll give you I'll give you a shot another shot at the belt. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get so drunk I'm gonna think I'm at Cross Turnia. Should have known you'd be out here. What are you doing out here? The show's tomorrow. Well, a very good point was made by Mr. White Girl Wasted himself, oh, Santino. God. Don't you feel like you want to throw up after you say that Santino made a good point? I'm surprised yeah. you really... No, we're not going to discuss on yeah. that. Okay. But, one of the promo battles was missing. And it was? Us. The leaders had yet to go back and forth with each other. So... The main event has not happened yet. <laughs> I figured, since I knew you would be here with the with the setup and everything. Yeah, the MP generation match. We're dipping all together. I can't believe you actually went through with that. It was great. <sighs> Thank you, by the way. Shut up. Okay. All right, so who's uh, starting out this promo battle, me or you? He who issues the challenge should shoot the first arrow. All right. Now, so I remember the promo was about why each of our fan groups is superior to the other, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, here's why the LIM is far superior in every single way to the IOLIM. Let me take you back and let me tell you a little story. It was quite a few days before Christmas and you were in the front row and I was in that wrestling ring. And I just so happened to notice that one of your guys, Damian Gray, was knocked out and I took off my elbow pad, and I threw it towards c -Rat. I didn't get a lot of air. And then I ran those ropes, and I hit that L-I Embo. One, two, three. Biggest reason why the L-I-M is superior? It's simple. Does your fan group have a pinfall victory over any member of the Rocket Pro Wrestling roster? Reason number two, actually. Let me let me take you back to September. Your debut, let's call it. And you just so happened to watch us on that stage right over there take home the first ever Rocket Pro Wrestling Novo Award for Rowdiest Fan Group. No other fans to this point have ever won a Nova but us. We actually won two because if you remember there was a coat rack that got involved as well. So we have two Novas. And we're going to win so many more next September. And lastly, but not leastly, we are the rowdiest. And I have to say, I must give you credit where credit is due. The idolizers, you guys are incredibly rowdy and you've made an impact. And I'm not going to take anything away from you for that. But we were doing it first. When everybody was at other shows, we were here getting drunk, starting chants for the ref, starting all sorts of chants, starting movement, let Steve sit, 
Steve is sitting. We've made our impact felt here. Someday you guys will be on your way, I'm sure. But it's not going to be this day. Are you done? I am. <sighs> I must admit, you did bring up some good points. But the idolizers are more than just another fan group in Rocket Pro. This is something very personal to me. Because when no one gave me a chance in this industry because I wasn't the one that was intimidating enough, there were two people that gave me a chance. And that was Joey and that was Roxy. They saw someone who was truly powerful in her words. They saw someone who could truly give their message out. And that was me. So this is more than just some other fan group that you've seen here. I'm not like the Rocket Boys. I'm not like the Aaron Stoners. I'm certainly not like White Girl Wasted. I take this to heart. And yes, when I called you out back in September, there was one thing on my mind. And that is getting the people who gave me a chance the chance they deserve. I am sick and I am tired of the idols being taken as a joke. They are not a joke. They are one of the best factions that Rocket Pro has ever seen. And I don't care what anyone says. Not Steve, not Shelly, not Johnny, not Flash, not even you. Because when this is all said and done, Pax, I'm going to take the LIM and I'm going to close the tab on them once and for all. And as for you, I'm going to make sure that you fade away and classify yourself as obsolete! Sponge kick, watching the sun break. Looking for another cold old style. Driving to rocket, pro wrestling to kick Tony Gabagool's ass again. Wasted away again at Rocket Pro Wrestling Searching for a, another title to take I need beer Some people claim that Damien Sain is to blame But I know It's all Nubby's fault Yeah, fuck you, Tony Tony Gaba Goo. We're about to do this right now. Oh, we're about to do this Rainer right now. Avenue, the Rainer? old neighborhood. Yeah. Let's do it. I'll Let's take you out. It. I'll take you all right, all right now. All right. Guys, I know you guys are doing this challenge. You're saying that. You're like you, looking like a used car salesman. I am the backstage interviewer. Oh, okay. So, but now, before we start on? that, before we start that, I'm just going to make this clear. Tony, you said that if Danny beats you, you won't be able to challenge for this and Danny you said that if you don't win that you will leave LIM that's right and I'm I was hesitant about all of this and I was thinking about it and I just want you guys to know I'm going to add a little wrinkle to this and a little bit of motivation because I see there's a lot of competition going on here whoever wins tonight after John and I have our battle at Super Wrestlers. The winner faces the winner of me versus Double J for this. I think that sounds fair. What are you gonna kick? 
kiss me. <sighs> Should be a fun show. I'm loving, loving what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a real fun show. Oh, hey, Danny. Hey, how been you doing a while. Now? It's been a minute. Now, I know we've had our differences in we the have. past. Yeah. We have. But I think I want to reconcile that with you. You know, new year, new man. I got you a little something. Got me something. You want to reconcile, huh? Mm -hmm. Not Mark reconcile, just no, reconcile? No, just reconcile. You're, you seem like an all right guy. Just all right, though. Don't, don't let right? it go to your head. Ooh, soft. Some car in a cardboard. Ooh, a bunny. I like, ooh. No, that's a, that's a dog. Yeah. Yeah, it's a dog. It's a chocolate dog. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So we got a Valentine's Day gift. It, it was on sale. It was on, oh, you know what? Clarence. Clarence. Yeah. Clarence. For only for, only the best. You only know who, the best you know who, who You know who uh, likes Clarence? Betty Cena. If you know. And we got, ooh. I didn't even get a wrapped up thing for Valentine's Day from Betty. Ooh, looks like I'm gonna be doing some cooking. Yeah, you're gonna be doing some cooking. You're gonna be doing some real cooking. Really, Danny? Well, you know, I... It, you're right, it's not nice to like rewrap and like re-gift, but I don't know, I just figured you'd appreciate them. You know what? I don't like penicillin on my pizza, mm. and I don't like penicillin on my Hawaiian bread. Oh, oh man. I was trying to reconcile. Then I will take my dog. Okay. You got a head start. Oh, yeah, you were working. I was working. I'm gonna catch you up. I don't think so. I better believe you. Are you gonna kiss me now? Have you heard the news? What's the news? Oh, let me tell you about the news. We're going karaoke with Johnny Nye. Uh, how can we be going karaoke with Johnny Nye? He's fighting Ryan Nye. Uh, in the future, uh, uh, TBD. Oh, okay, okay. Are we gonna kiss? Are we gonna kiss? Alright. Uh, uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Our team is the wrong guy. Danny. <laughs> Danny. 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 My bad. My bad. Well, I got some different size cups there, Danny. Yeah. Danny boy, but the pipes are calling, and I got 21. That's, that's crazy. Me too. I also have 21. You also have 21? Well, I guess I, it's I a drop. I got the right here. And here, we got Danny and Saint. Danny and Saint threw you that beer? And it's empty. It's empty. 
You know, at first, you know, I thought it was going to be a little bit rocky with that whole, you know, it's not a duel. I'm going to have to do one. I'll tell you, it was close. It was neck and neck. We both had 21 or 22. I forgot what it was. Yeah. Both of us. Sorry we were, about your liver tomorrow. It's all good. We were tired. Okay. Until one man came out and threw me a beer. Damien Saint. Threw me that last beer and put me at 22. No. Gabagool wow. at 21. My new boss. Can you tell me something? Are we gonna kiss? Are we gonna kiss? I think so. I'm out. All right, I guess I'm taking on Danny. Mom, I beat Tony Gabagool. I know you're checking your mail, you don't care that much, but that means that I'm next in line for a title shot with for the LIM title against Patrick. Ain't that right, Gordon? Ain't that right? Or, I'm gonna. Huh? You're what? entitled to some AA meetings? No. The, I am in AA. I, I, uh, Anime Anonymous. I'm with those, um, those one guys. The Looney Tunes? Not the Looney Tunes. Those other guys that... You know how it goes. Hey, generation, man! That is not a thing. Stop making it a thing. Hey, generation!